previously on Master Chef Canada. After a nationwide search, 40 of Canada's best home cooks yeah! audition to pursue their dream. My food dream is to be a Michelin inspector. This is my first step to opening up my own catering company. My food dream is to open my own baking studio. But only the best 14 moved forward. Your time starts now! To compete in the MasterChef Canada Kitchen. <gasps> week after week. <laughs> oh my God! They've tackled intense challenges. Lamb sausage is still available! The firefighters are hungry! Oh, fuck! That's cool, cook it! Hold on, everyone relax here for a second. They've served up stunning triumphs. Outstanding. Thank you, Chef. What I see here is nothing short of a love affair with food. Thank you so much, Chef. And faced devastating setbacks. I've definitely been sabotaged. It's supposed to look like a pillow. It looks more like a bed sheet. Six home cooks have been eliminated. I love you guys. Now, eight remain, fighting for $100,000 and a life-changing title. There's nothing that's gonna stop me and achieving my dream of being Canada's next Master Chef. I'm in top eight. Competition's strong, but I'm here to battle with Titans. We're walking into the Master Chef Canada kitchen and we don't have our aprons on, so I know something's about to go down. Whatever it is, it's gonna be something big. There are only eight of you vying for the life-changing MasterChef Canada title. And you're about to push yourself in a team challenge right here in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Tonight, you'll be divided into two teams of four. Inside the podium are four red aprons and four blue aprons. Mary, come draw your apron. It's a game of chance today. Matthew, Dr. Sean. Jeremy, April Lee, Terry. I'm really hoping to work with Sean today. <laughs> Veronica. You just don't know who you're gonna end up with. Your team is just a hodgepodge of everyone at this point. Team Red is awesome. I'm so happy. The blue team's looking good. For this challenge, there will be no captains. Instead, we wanna see you all come up with a unified vision and executed together with total collaboration. Are you ready to find out what you're cooking with today? Yes, yes sir. sir! Underneath each of these four boxes are two different ingredients, inspired by a popular nursery rhyme. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Let's we'll start with heads. Oh. This challenge is not meant for a vegetarian. As you can see, you have two choices, a pig's head and a grouper's head. They may look daunting right now, but both are delicious when prepared correctly. A pig's head is staring at me. Oh my God, what do you do with that? For shoulders. Oh. Holy crap, doing this in a short amount of time, that's almost impossible. You have a choice, beef and lamb. These shoulders are tough cuts of meat. And to bring out their flavor and tenderness, you have to cook them under a slow, steady heat. For knees, beautiful turkey legs and frog's legs. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a real, real difficult challenge. And finally, toes. Two of my personal favorites, pig strutter and Chicken feet. They're just ugly, like, claws, like from a dinosaur. That's not for me. Mary, for a vegetarian, what's going on in your mind right now? I do not cook these things at home. I am really happy that this is a team challenge. Sean, you looked a little rattled. Uh, it feels like a bit like I'm back in anatomy class. In my undergraduate degree, I dissected frogs, but uh, we, we didn't get to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Professional chef embrace every part of the animal, not just the most popular cuts. Tonight, each team will create a four-plate tasting menu. 
We want to see a unified vision in the dishes that you create. All of your dishes, they need to work together as part of a cohesive and delicious journey. The team who wins this will be sent up to the gallery and advance to the top seven. But the losing team will face a pressure test that will send at least one of you home. You have just 90 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir! Your time starts now! The home cooks must use one ingredient from each box and decide which offcut each team member will use. I want to use the whole pig's head. Okay, I'm going to do the chicken feet. I actually feel at ease working with chicken feet. They remind me of my nonno vito. I want to do the pig's feet, and then I want to do a salon bao, which is a dumpling that has soup in it. If you want to do that, I don't mind doing the shoulder. Let's think about the menu. They now need to collaborate on a theme that will unite their dishes. Do we want to go more of an Asian route? I think we should go more of an Asian. Asian. But I'm not really strong with Asian. I don't feel really comfortable doing this, but to be a good team player, I have to cook Asian. I'm going to do a turkey roulade. I'm going to stuff it in kind of like a crayon wine sauce just to bring like thanksgiving -y. We all want to make something that is a classic dish. So our theme is a new take on old classics. Love it. Amazing. Love it, good, good, great. These ingredients are inspirational. You can do so much with each of them. But these proteins have one thing in common. They take tremendous skill to be able to achieve that delicious texture and presentation that we're looking for. These are items with different texture profile, different taste profiles. So first of all, they have to think of ways to cook it. Think of ways to even butcher it. I think the pig's head is Come going here. to be the toughest piece to get done and cooked in time. If they're smart, they can cut it into smaller pieces. A pig's head is actually a delicacy in um, Asian culture. I'm going to be making a Filipino dish called sizzling sisig. It's made out of pig's ears, snout, and cheeks. It's typically food that Filipinos eat while we're drinking beer. I'm going to try to elevate it and make it with wine. I love to cook meat even though I don't eat it. Get this bad boy off of here. I've cooked whole turkeys at home, but I've never broken down a turkey before. Just like you would with the fish. Okay. And it's going to come off. I know nothing's going to stop you, Mary. I'm doing a braised beef shoulder with garlic mashed and a potato crisp. And it's a take on good old fashioned meat and potatoes. Now, the lamb and the beef shoulder are not as exciting as the pig's head, but you can do a lot with it. You've got to trim it down, take out the sinew, and you need to cook that in a pressure cooker to break down the texture of that meat. I need to get my beef nice and tender in a short amount of time. Only I've um, never used a pressure cooker. I have zero experience with pressure cookers. I got chills, so I am doing a play on my grandfather's favorite dish, chicken feet and polenta. I want to take traditional, and I want to elevate. While each member of the blue team draws on personal history for inspiration, the red team's Asian theme presents a challenge for Terry. I don't cook a lot of Asian flavors, but I got a lot of um, directions from my other teammates. I'm making grilled frog legs with an Asian-style pesto. Frog's legs, that'll cook very, very quickly. So there you have to have a delicate hand and make sure that whatever you're putting with that also has a delicate feel and taste to it. They've only got 90 minutes, and that is not a lot of time. The other area which really concerns me, there is no leader or captain in this challenge, which means that they have to all collaborate and work together in a way. Is this OK on your station? I'll keep it on it for you. Just like in medicine, no doctor knows everything. You have to know when to ask for help. Who's watching over each other? Who's governing the creative process, the plating, and the cook? I'm making a grouper cheek miso soup. A miso soup is a delicious light soup. Uh, the grouper will work perfectly with it. I have never cooked with fish head, but I do know that the uh, cheek is a very delicious part of the fish. In my family, the head of the table, which is my father, always gets the cheeks, and my mother always gets the eyes. I'm going to make a sticky beef terrine and a nice sticky glaze from that delicious poaching liquid. Hi, Veronica. Hello, chef. What is your part in this team? I'm available for tasting and any sort of questions that people may have. I'm the most familiar with these ingredients out of everyone here. So you're acting like a mission inspector. I am a little bit. What are you doing? I'm making a play on xilong bao. Xilong bao is a Chinese soup dumpling that has to have at least 18 crimps. So it's meat soup in a nice little bundle. 16, 17, 18. I will be counting. Yeah. I will be counting. 
Hey there, Mary. Hello. What part of the team menu are you working on? The knees. I'm doing a turkey roulade wrapped in prosciutto. Do a little butternut squash puree, some cranberry wine sauce. And how does it fit in the overall menu, do you think? Our theme is a new take on old classics. So it's kind of like a take on Thanksgiving. Have you cleaned a turkey leg before? I have not really broken down a turkey leg before, so April Lee helps me with that. And that's the name of the game today. The teamwork. All right, thanks, Thank Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've got my chicken feet in the pressure cooker. I'm just getting the polenta started. What's Jennifer doing right now? That polenta looks very dense, very dense. The polenta is glue. Jennifer, she's a great sous chef, but knowing that she has to carry her dish is a little concerning. I'm screwed. If I need help, what do you think of that consistency? Just add a bit more. Stock? And then let, and add a bit add more, more stock? stock and let it reduce. The red team, I like the theme they're doing. Asian. Veronica, she's doing xiaolong bao, which is a Chinese dim sum. Very difficult, requires a high level of skill. Making xiaolong bao, you need to serve it with black vinegar. I'm not going to give the judges some black vinegar and a soy sauce plate. Let's make some caviar. Making caviar is just a matter of mixing black vinegar and agar and dropping it into frozen oil. Oh my god, look, Sean, look. It's working. It's working. It's awesome. magic. Awesome. Little caviars of vinegar. Fantastic. My beef is spoon tender. As Alvin always says, taste is king. And today, that's what I'm focusing on first. How you doing? OK. Blind cooking, not being able to check on your meat. The pressure cooker is so scary. April Lee and Matthew are both using the pressure cooker, and they both have the shoulder. I particularly like the shoulder because it takes a lot of flavor in, but again, it takes time. It's a little bit tough. Start slicing it. So just go with the grain first. Jeremy is the center of intelligence for the blue team. Everyone is going to him. Jeremy, so, come look, skin. Let's leave it in for five more minutes, and then we'll take it out. Okay. I want to win this challenge really badly. I don't want to lose. I just want our whole team to succeed. Veronica, she's consulting from the menu and also the official taster. It's hot, but it's good. She is a Michelin inspector in training. This is delicious. It's good, right? Yeah. Mary's got her turkey roulade out. Wow, everyone is starting to plate right now. These types of proteins tend to look sloppy when they're plated. So I want to see creativity. I want to see finesse on the plate. I want to see garnishes that are going to highlight each protein. Wow, holy crap, that is freaking awesome. Jennifer's working on the chicken feet, but she seems to be struggling with how it's all going to come together. Have a look at the plate. Oh, I think it's beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hands up! This plate, it's not what I want to be putting out. The theme of the blue team's tasting menu is a new twist on old classics, while the red team will take the judges on a journey through the China Seas. Well done. It was an amazing job you just pulled off. We'll start with the heads. Dr. Sean and Jeremy, please bring up your dishes. Sean, you had the grouper's head. Yes, chef. Tell me how you went about the preparation of your dish. I made a stock with the grouper head in a pressure cooker. I poached the grouper cheeks. The bowl is lined with uh, some sesame oil, so as you pour the broth, hopefully the little bubbles of sesame oil will come up and it'll add a lot of flavor. The cheek I found just a little on the salty side. But Sean, the broth is absolutely beautiful. It is flavorful. It is rich. It has a long, lengthy flavor to it. The way you presented it, you have the cheek, you have a little bit of the skin, some enoki mushrooms, little treasures that float around that soup. That lingering sesame oil backing everything up is wonderful. It's an adventure. Great dish. Thank you, chef. I feel amazing. I feel like I've done my part for the team. Jeremy, walk me through your dish. It's called sizzling sisig. Three parts of the pig head, the snout, the ears, and the cheeks, raised in white wine, jalapenos, and red peppers.
This dish is such a revelation for me. This is Filipino soul food. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. When you have it in the Philippines, does it have a little more kick? It has a lot more spiciness. Why did you hold back on the heat? I feel like I've been gravitating to the Asian flavors as a safety net. I'm branching out to different flavors, and that's how I want to um, excel in this competition. That's a positive. Something else you did in the challenge which really resonated with the three of us is how you kept watching over the other teammates. You had, I think, a really great management style. Very firm, very fair, and very caring, which is very rare to find. Thank you. Great job. Next, our shoulders, Matthew and April Lee. I am so disappointed bringing my dish up to the front. Matthew looks like it's from a five-star restaurant. It looks beautiful. Matthew. I made a beef shoulder terrine that I fried on both sides. I also pickled some daikon. Plating, beautiful. Thank you, chef. Shoulders are a muscle that gets used a lot. It needs a long, slow cooking. You managed to cook the shoulder perfectly. It's just that you did not put enough of that beautiful glaze sauce that you worked on. You need to slather that on so that it's sticky, gooey. That, to me, was where you let go of this dish. April Lee. I braised beef shoulder and red wine, beef stock, onions, shallots. I really wanted to stick with flavors that I love, but I wanted to elevate the plating. Mm. That's dry. I'm sorry. Really dry. Hmm. The flavor's not bad but I just wish it was more tender. Beef jerky from a pressure cooker. It's so embarrassing. Next is the knees, Mary and Terry. I feel my plate looks elegant. I've got this. I put my heart and soul into this dish. The flavors are there, and it might edge out Terry's frog legs. Mary. Turkey, roulade, wrapped in prosciutto. So what did you put in the roulade? A little bit of goat's cheese with some garlic, rosemary, and thyme. Thanksgiving and Christmas on a plate. <laughs> Turkey, the leg is moist. Bacon adds another dimension of flavor. The squash puree, it is soft. It's beautiful. I think it's a great dish. Presentation is wonderful. Taste is terrific. And you got it done. Amazing. Thank you. Terry. This is a dish inspired by the southern region of China. <laughs> it's a five spice frog legs. It's got butternut squash and black bean puree and a celery roasted garlic puree too. Hey, frog legs are not the easiest thing to cook. Delicious. Thank you, chef. I like the tenderness. I can taste the Chinese element, but it is over seasoned. I'm hoping my dish can maybe get blue up on that gallery. Jennifer and Veronica, toes. I think the deciding factor is going to be the pig's trotter and the chicken feet. Those are the two hardest ingredients to cook. Jennifer, so this is a modern take on your grandmother's dish? Yes, I decided to elevate my dish by frying the polenta and adding different seasonings to it. Let's give this a shot. You know, I've only had chicken feet a couple of times before. The broth is actually quite nice. I would have liked to have seen more of it. The polenta, good flavor, little crispness to it. But it's the plating. It's about elevating and adding some sophistication to a dish. Veronica, unlike Alvin, I'm no expert in Chinese cuisine. But what I know is that you have picked one of the most difficult dishes on the planet to execute in 90 minutes. The way that it looks is an absolute triumph. You made caviar? I did, black vinegar caviar. That's difficult. You made your own wrapper? I did make my own wrapper. That's difficult. 
You folded it how many times? 21. That's difficult. We're not even in a finale yet. I treat every single competition as if it's the finale. You really captured so many things in one dish. Tradition, innovation, and flavor. The red team are very lucky to have you on their team. Thank you, Chef. Please go back to your team. We've tasted the four dishes that both teams have created. Now, we need to take a few moments to discuss. I feel like we have a bit of an edge. Our food was a little more sophisticated and plating was a little tighter. I was really, really impressed. Great display of teamwork, effort, creativity. I feel like mine and Jeremy's dishes might get us onto the gallery. I think they deliver in terms of concept and theme. Well, this is gonna be a tough decision because both teams did an outstanding job. But I think there were a few more flaws with that particular team. I'm really worried that my dish is the dish that's gonna send my team into the pressure test. Choosing who had the leg up was a difficult decision. Flavor and plating were the main criteria tonight, but we also judged your teamwork and the cohesiveness of your collective vision. We put our heads together and we'll reveal our decision using Alvin's toes. <laughs> <laughs> Red! I finally won my first team challenge and I'm so excited. For winning this challenge, all four of you will advance to the top seven. Please head up to the gallery. I'm in the top seven of MasterChef Canada. Feels really great to be in the winning team. I'm heading into the pressure test now and I'm not feeling like myself and I'm just wishing that I had a spot in the gallery more than anything. You just served us a four-course tasting menu, and that's left us craving a final dish, dessert. The sweet we're craving is one of the world's most beloved pastries. It was created in France back in the 1850s and has recently emerged as one of the latest food trends. I'm talking about delicious decadent eclairs. Those are beautiful. I love eating eclairs, but I've never made one before. I'm pretty scared right now. A light, fluffy, and crispy shoe pastry with a hollow center that provides the perfect vessel for the rich, creamy custard and a decadent, sweet fondant glaze. I've never had to face a pressure test until now. I am actually more worried than I've ever been. Tonight, we want to see four of them perfectly nestled into this elegant pastry box. And because this is a pressure test, we're making things even harder by asking you to create four of your own custom variations. Four eclairs. I'm just saying a little prayer. Please, let me be able to rise up to this challenge. Please head to your stations. There's so much at stake right now. The pressure's on. I just need to do it. I'm going to rock it. At your stations, you'll find all the basics. Eggs, flour, and sugar, along with top of the line Mila appliances. We've also provided you with a specialty pantry with a stunning selection of eclectic ingredients, all sure to spark your imagination. You will have just 90 minutes to bake, fill, and decorate your four eclairs. Your 90 minutes starts now! Woo! Four eggs. So Michael, the rumor is that you have a pastry background. I thought I was gonna become a pastry chef. This does bring back memories for me, having to make eclairs, which can be very, very tricky. First thing you have to do is make a shoe pastry with milk, butter, and flour. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, and I need to execute everything perfectly. Once you add the egg yolks, you have to make sure it's very, very smooth. I'm working on my shoe pastry right now. I've made eclairs before. I'm comfortable with pastry. Then you have to pipe very carefully into the perfect length. I just want to make sure that they are the perfect size for the box they're going into. Jeremy, those look awesome, man. Thanks, man. 
Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Chef. So you just finished your shoe pantry? Yeah, I got it in the oven. Oh, let me see, let me see. Wow, the piping looks beautiful. Thank you, but Chef. But there is a concern. When you put the shoe pantry in the oven, yeah. they tend to expand a little bit. Oh, yeah. Remember, they must fit into here. Yeah. Or turn around. Or you're going out those doors. I know, Chef, and I don't want to do that. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull it off. Good luck. Thank you. <sighs> I'm really starting to not feel well. I'm, like, sweating so bad from, like, every part of my body. Push through, girl. Push through. You're going to be good. April Lee is so sick. She's just trying to get through this cook. The pastry cream has to be the perfect consistency, light and fluffy, and it should be able to hold itself together without oozing out of the eclair. I'm a good baker, but with these eclairs, I need to prove that I'm a great baker. I'm going to make four separate pastry creams. It is ambitious. I'm probably shooting myself in the foot, but I'm going to try not to. Something is burning. <laughs> Look at Jennifer. Her milk is boiling over. Yeah, turn that down. Jennifer, how you doing? Feeling the heat a little bit. Wow, look at your steak. I know. What are you doing exactly? I am making a lemon custard. Are you worried at all? The only thing that's got me worried right now is time. All right, keep pushing. Mary's making four different fillings. That is a ton of extra pressure. Guys, I'm on the top rack in the blast chiller. I have four pans of pastry cream that I need to chill. It's getting a little hectic. Jeremy, for a guy who has not baked, he's got perfectly piped shoe pastry. They all fit. My shoe pastries are too small. I'm freaking out. Jennifer seems to be just completely frazzled. How could I have made a mistake already this early in my pressure test? I see cracks on the top of my eclairs. I've made eclairs before, and that's never happened. Mary, and she might be reaching to that point that might actually break everything for her. Farts! 20 minutes! You have 20 minutes left. <laughs> April Lee, definitely under the weather. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I feel like my stomach is going to explode. OK. I don't know if I can go on. How are you hanging in there, April Lee? <laughs> Been better. What's your biggest concern? Oh, just that I can do this at all. You're going step by step. It seems to be working. Pastry is done. Pastry cream is chilling down. Make your four different flavors. The finish line is in sight. Thanks for your confidence. No matter how I'm feeling, I can't quit and just give up on my dream. 10 minutes! You have 10 minutes left! That's over whipped, eh? Mm, no. No, it's cool. No? I'm doing an apple pie filling, and that will be mixed into the pastry cream. It's super important to stay original. If you're not original, you're never going to stand out. At this point in time, the home cook should really start filling the eclairs now. <sighs> April, get pastry bags ready. Oh my gosh, right. Jeremy's starting to pipe his first eclair. It's white chocolate. This one is... I know I've taken on too much. There's like seven minutes left, and I haven't started piping my cream into my eclairs. That is not a good sign. Medic! Panic mode. Oh my god, please hurry. Five minutes! You should be starting your decoration now! I'm worried about getting all my stuff on the plate. Decorating those beautiful eclairs is all about finesse and precision. Oh my god, but it's not even decorated. And creating this little jewel box. Oh my gosh. This is so hard, my goodness. 30 seconds! You have 30 seconds left! Ooh! What am I gonna do? Wow. Jeremy got upset with one of his eclairs. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, hands up! <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I've never seen so much pressure in the Master Chef Canada kitchen before. I am worried. I am up against some serious cooks. Jennifer, please bring up your box of eclairs.
You know, they're small. Had they been a little larger in size, they would have presented much better. I'm not proud of them. Walk me through the flavors. I've got strawberry and cherry, coffee and chocolate, dark cherry tart eclair, as well as coffee and hazelnut. I'm going to try the hazelnut and caramel. A nice amount of fondant, nice little uh, drizzle of caramel, and some gold leaf. Let's see if it has some filling in here. Not bad. I don't get any other flavors other than a little subtle vanilla. The caramel, I think, is a nice idea, but the vanilla just sort of sits there, flat. Thank you. Thank you. So, what am I getting here? A coffee fondant, bits of chocolate. I'm not getting a lot of uh, pastry cream here. See? In fact, it's got almost no pastry cream. So let's have a taste. The pastry cream, texture, consistency. It's a little bit lumpy. The shoe pastry, not the best I ever had. So disappointed in myself. Jeremy, you're up next. Survival is the only thing on my mind right now. Walk me through the flavors, please. This one is a peanut butter eclair, and then this one is the traditional eclair. This is the apple pie eclair, and this is a strawberry jam eclair. It's got a lot of heft. That's the apple pie one. I pureed some apple filling, and I folded it in with my pastry cream. Is this chestnuts on top? Yeah. Nice combination of flavors. A skillful pastry chef will make sure that the cream runs right through from one end to the other. Is that going to happen? I tried my best. Let's see what happens. Not bad. I've never had an apple pie eclair until now. It's amazing. Thank you, chef. So original. That was smart. Pastry quality is fantastic. Great texture. It's crispy and moist in the middle. You have some skills, Jeremy. This one's a home run. Thank you. So relieved. Hopefully, that's going to keep me here and make me stand out from the other three people cooking. April Lee, please bring up your box of eclairs. We have a hazelnut liqueur, the crazy pink. It's got a strawberry disco crazy pink. The third one is lemon. And then the last one we have orange with hazelnut. Lemon's my favorite dessert to eat. Anything with lemon, I'm sold. Looks pretty good inside. This is really great. Thank you. Pastry is outstanding. It's super light. It's like a little cloud, like a little pillow. It needs a little more cream. Other than that, really delicious. It's a good thing you didn't give up. Thank you. Because I know when you pushed hard, and look what you did. I'm feeling just like a warrior, like I've come out of battle. But I just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I've done enough to get through this. Thank you. Mary, please bring up your eclairs. Can you walk me through the different flavors? There's a matcha pastry cream with a blackberry fondant, a white chocolate eclair, orange cardamom, the chocolate ganache, and a earl grey with a bit of lavender. The cracks, crevices. I think possibly your dough was a little too stiff, a little too dry. It just doesn't present well. <laughs> That's the lady grey. It's uh, earl grey tea with some lavender in it. Very light, very floral, but that pastry is a little thick and chewy, and a clair should be lighter. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Hmm. This 
one's not gonna win a beauty pageant. I'm very sorry. That is a matcha pastry cream with a blackberry fondant on top. The flavor tastes good. I really liked it. Wow. <laughs> That's very generous. Yeah. <laughs> This is kind of soggy. The flavors just, they don't work well together. You took a risk, a very, very big risk. You did four pastry creams. As much as I admire that, with great aspirations sometimes, you fail. Please go back to your station. I'm feeling devastated. You need to bring your best into this kitchen every day. I didn't do my best job. Creating four distinct and delicious eclairs in 90 minutes is no easy feat. None of your eclairs were perfect, but there were two home cooks who stood out tonight. They mastered difficult techniques and won us over with their delicious flavor combinations. Jeremy and April Lee, congratulations. And welcome to the top seven in this competition. Both of you, head up to the gallery. I am super relieved right now. Top seven. Wow, I did it. I feel such a sense of accomplishment. I couldn't be more proud of myself. Mary and Jennifer, you both presented eclairs tonight that had major flaws. I am worried. I might be going home. Mary? Your shoe pastry was undercooked and cracked. Jennifer, your eclairs were too small and the flavors uninspired. At this point in the competition, it's very hard to send somebody home. Mary? It's time to take off your apron. And head up to the gallery. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Jennifer. Yes, Chef. You did an admirable job tonight. Thank you. One thing your eclairs didn't lack was heart. And that's something you've always shown us the moment you entered this kitchen. It was heart that won you your white apron. We see it in your love for your father and your brothers. And we know that you've made them very, very proud. I hope so. Please come on up and say goodbye. <sighs> Great job. Thank You're me. proud of yourself. Can you translate something for us? Please tell him that the three of us think that you are an exceptional cook. <laughs> Making it this far in the competition taught me a lesson I am never going to forget. <laughs> You belong in this kitchen. Goodbye to my beautiful home cooks. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm proud of me too. <laughs> I'm walking out believing in myself. And I know that this isn't the end. It's just the beginning. I'm going to see my papa. <laughs> time. Oh, large box. The home cooks lift off with an out of this world mystery box. Colonel Chris Hatfield. What? Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you. Hi. <laughs> Switch. Tag, tag, tag. And a classic tag team challenge turns up the temperature in the kitchen. Terry is angry, and you don't want to make Terry angry. Honestly, you have to hurry. Oh, my God.